years ago, China was one of the most developed countries in the world. They had rich culture and beautiful history that was passed down to every generation. Maintaining it to enrich it even more so that the next generation can also know where they came from. But have you ever wondered who are those people behind these successes are? Let's find out as we skim the technological advancement of ancient China. It all started with an emperor named Xi Xing Wang in the early 221 BC, also known as the founder of Qing Dynasty. Emperor Qin was said to be a brutal ruler, being described together as mythical ruler and god. He ruled China for 35 years and caused rapid cultural and intellectual advancement, along with destruction and oppression in China. Qin utilizes bronze and iron in his works for the defense of the kingdom, and later on utilized crossbows as their self-defense in a far distance. Emperor Qin also declared the usage of Ban Liang, meaning half Liang, to be the only currency to circulate in the empire. Liang was a measurement of weight, and these coins seem to be weight half of it, hence the name. However, despite the military men, Emperor Qin faced a current threat from the north, so in order to defend their territory, he ordered the construction of an enormous defensive force as we now know as the Great Wall of China. Thousands of slaves and criminals carried out the construction of that wall. And during the process, thousands of them passed away. As he entered the Middle Age, Qin was even more afraid of that. He used potions in order to prevent it. However, one of these contained mercury, causing him to unfortunately make his demise. Many dynasties replaced Qin in passing of time. One of these is the Han Dynasty, known to be one of the longest and most significant dynasties of China. In terms of power and prestige, the Han Dynasty revealed the Roman Empire. Buddhism was also introduced in this dynasty. With only minor interruptions, it lasted over four centuries and was considered the golden age in China's history, especially in arts, politics, and technology. During Han times, pulleys and wheelbarrows were used to move goods and to pulverize forests and grains. They also employed water power trip hammers and utilized bellows to pump air into furnaces. The opening of the Silk Road was probably the major economic achievement of the Han Dynasty. At that time, Kai Lu, a Chinese inventor, initiated the production of paper from tree barks, hemp, clothes rags, and nets. They were also the first to invent the magnetic compass, mainly for the purpose of divination. Sang Heng, a polymathic scientist at that time, also invented the world's first seismograph with dragons and toads for its design. In the Su Dynasty, the Buddhist faith greatly propagated. Greatly used block printing. It was used to print patterns, texts, and images. They also excavated the Imperial Canal, which linked Chang'an and Luoyang. It was a network of artificial waterways, mainly used for transportation, trade, and military purposes. White ceramics and earthenware have also been introduced in this era, with the influence of India. The Tang Dynasty was the prime of Chinese feudal society and was the most advanced civilization in the world at that time. In technology, one of the great contributions of the dynasty is its studies in the field of medicine. Along with being able to find a cure for goiter, they found out that consuming too much alcohol and sweets may lead to diabetes. They also invented escapements that transfers energy to a clock's timekeeping element and allowed the number of its oscillation to be counted. They used it for astronomical observations. The Tang Dynasty also invented gunpowder, which was part of the four great inventions in ancient China. 
The Ming Dynasty finished the last part of construction of the Great Wall of China. Woodblock printing had also improved as they incorporated color in addition to their first metal movable type of printing. All the language, beliefs, and the things that we are used is because of these civilizations. It is very significant because it defines how we share the way of life in every situation to theory. It's also a process wherein human society grow and develop. But the most important thing is to look on the past and to look back on our history.